All right, here's just a very short and sweet message for you today. A reminder, because I know I've talked about this before. Actually, I feel like I've pretty much, like, if you can think of something that I haven't talked about in videos, please send it, ideas my way, because I'll get a lot of inquiries and questions and people wanting me to make videos about things and I revert them to videos I've already done. Um, so I don't see a need to read hash certain topics sometimes I will just because they're so prevalent but if you have one that I haven't covered send it my way and one that I feel confident in answering because I'll admit some questions I'm like I'm not familiar with what you're asking it's not under my level of expertise and I'm not going to pretend like I know so sometimes I won't answer um, questions that come my way and I'll tell that person that and I'll send them somewhere else but for the most part I do feel like most of my videos I have covered in one way or another in probably multiple different ways um i think i saw uh, a few days ago maybe last week i noticed i had made like three i think i have like 300 and i don't know 30 videos or something like that that's a lot of videos that is a lot of minutes of me talking about recovery and eating disorders and so if you're still feeling like you haven't had your answer or your question answered my guess is you're probably not going to. My guess is that nothing is going to appease your eating disorder. The seeking reassurance isn't working and the action actually just needs to start. So I, I always tell my clients when they're seeking reassurance, I catch them and I'm like, are you seeking reassurance right now? We've got to stop that, right? Because that becomes addictive and that starts to feel like you need more of it and more of it and more of it to get your fix. And then you still, once you get it, you still can't fully just do the thing that you're seeking reassurance for, right? And if you, you do continue doing it, it's because you're needing that constant reminder and a reassurance that you're doing it right. So lots of sneaky forms of reassurance here would be like, let's see, ones that I would do were, hey, you won't believe how much I ate today. Like, Zach, my husband, you wouldn't believe how much I ate. Let me tell you what I had for lunch because I wanted to see how he was going to respond. If he was like, well, that's awesome. Good for you. Or, oh, whoa, that's a lot of food. That would have freaked me out. And so I would say things to kind of catch his reaction or seeking reassurance. It'd be like, hey, do these jeans look different on me? Or um, what were some other things? Like, oh, you wouldn't believe I have not moved at all today. I haven't done anything. I've been home all day long, sitting all day long. All of those are little sneaky forms of seeking reassurance. The more direct ones would be like, do you think I should eat this? Do you think I should eat more? Do you think I've eaten too much? That's obviously more direct, but then you have those other ones that are probably all of you listening can relate to and be like, oh my gosh, I totally do that. Oh my gosh, I totally do that. So start becoming aware of the ways that you're seeking reassurance. And it's funny because I'm, I'm giving you this advice in a video. Essentially, I'm saying stop watching so many videos seeking reassurance. But if you do feel like you're just watching things over and over and over and over again with zero action, you can you can assume that the videos aren't helping and that action is the only thing that's actually going to help you. Now, if you're like on course for recovery and you're actively pushing yourself and going for it and you're like, gosh, I'm just feeling so uncomfortable. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. But I just need to like talk to someone who can or listen to someone who relates and can kind of just remind me this is important and I'm doing the right thing and I'm on track cool. That's how the videos are supposed to work. That's what those are intended for. That's why I do these. They are not for you to sit here and just listen and listen and listen and listen and listen again and then listen again in a week and hope that that video hits you a different way and then you can do it. It's not, I don't have any magic powers. I cannot make you act. I cannot make you do the things that you know you need to do in recovery. And if you keep reverting back to a certain video or a certain topic, let that be your sign. Hey, that's something that I need to really tackle. That's something I really need to tackle. That fear of weight gain. That's the one I always listen to a hundred times. That's the video. That's the video. That's the one I need to hear. That, no matter how many videos you listen to on fear of weight gain and tips on how to get through that, they aren't going to help you overcome your fear of weight gain. What's going to help you overcome your fear of weight gain is actually doing recovery and letting your body gain weight and feeling uncomfortable and crying about it and not loving it and trying your best to um, not entertain the thoughts and just keep going. And over time, that's how you'll overcome that fear of weight gain. My, my, my videos won't help you to overcome your fear of weight gain. Okay. So that's my message to you today. In fact, that's actually not even what I was going to share. <laughs> I just realized that's actually not even the topic that I was going to talk about today. Um, 
but I can't remember what the topic was that I was going to talk about today. And I just went off a tangent, off on a tangent and my husband's calling now. So that's the message for, for this week and the, for and going into the weekend. Have a wonderful weekend and I will talk to you next week. Bye.